Hi everyone, this is Amy, the Drama and Movement Therapist at Noah's Ark Children's Hospice. Um, and this video is a five senses activity. Um, so this is really good if you're feeling a little bit maybe overwhelmed with what's happening at the minute or a bit anxious or stressed. Um, this can be done with children and adults and can be adapted to abilities. Um, so, um, first of all, we're going to start with the number five. So you can give your fingers a little bit of a wiggle if you can, if you want to. Or you can wiggle someone else's fingers. And the hands sometimes get a bit forgotten. So we could give our hand a little bit of a massage. Or we can massage somebody else's hand. I'm sure they would, well, I think they'd enjoy it. <laughs> Another thumb, feel all the knuckles, nails, next finger, the middle finger, finger, and then the pinky, pinky, pinky. So we give a bit of love to our hand. And now we'll look at the number five. So holding your hand or someone else's hand, first we're going to think or say or point out five things you can see. So I can see a plant, I can see a mug, I can see a window, I can see a picture and I can see a pen. I'll give you guys just a few, well, just a minute, just to do that by yourself or with whoever you're doing it with. So five things you can see. And no rush. And once we've done that, we're going to put the thumb down and we're on number four. So you might want to touch one, two, three, four, your own or someone else's hand. You might want to wiggle. You might want to sound. Hmm? 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 Or you might want to say one, two, three. So now it's for things you can touch. So again, this is something you can touch or you can help somebody else touch by placing it on their hands or wherever. Maybe they like it on their face or on their arms. So four things you can touch. So what can I touch? I can touch my top. I can touch my hair. I can touch my phone, a video that I am currently doing this on. And I can touch my paper. So I'm going to give you guys just a minute to touch or help somebody else touch four things. Really notice how they feel. Everything feels different when you touch it. And now rush again, but once you've done that, we're going to go up and put actually yeah put that one down so now we're on three so it might be easier for you to do that that's fine as well as long as there's three fingers up you're helping somebody show three fingers so again you might do this by a little squeeze of each finger to so show it's one two three a touch a wiggle or a little sound maybe mm -hmm. So number three, 
but now it is three things that we can hear. Hmm, which is interesting because where I am is quite quiet at the minute. So we've got to really sometimes listen and see what we can pick up. So I can hear the wind outside. I can hear passing cars and I can hear my laptop running a bit. I'll give you guys a moment to really, really listen to what you can hear. And again, if you are the person cannot hear, you can point it out to them what you can hear. And when you've done that, when you've said what you can hear, or you've helped somebody else and told them what you can hear, we're going to go to number two. So this isn't really good for my fingers, so I'm going to go two. <laughs> a bit of a peace sign. So two, two things that you can smell. So first we're going to do a little one, two, or a hmm, hmm, or a press, press, just a little feel, or a little bit of a wiggle, one, two. So two things you can smell. Hmm. So again, if you are the person you're with can't smell, you can tell them what you can smell. Or maybe think about what sort of things you'd be able to smell if you were, let's say, somewhere like a bakery or outside in the park or where you are right now. So two things you can smell. Hmm. So I can smell the lemon that's in my water at the minute a little bit. And I can also smell a bit of fresh washing, actually, which smells quite nice. <laughs> so two things that you can smell, or that the other person can tell you they can smell, or that you can imagine you could smell somewhere. Okay, last one, number one, boop, boop, boop. So again, could be the thumb, could be the little finger, could be any finger you like. Who wants to be number one? <laughs> so, squeeze, wiggle, bit of sound, one. So this is one thing now that you can taste. So, this seems quite hard, I guess, if you're not actually tasting anything actively. But it's good to think about what you can taste in your mouth. And sometimes getting a bit of air can help that. So I can taste a little bit of tea. Because I had a cup of tea about 30 minutes ago. So I can taste a bit of that. So you can do it from what you can just taste in your mouth right now. Or you can get something. You can put it in your mouth or someone else's mouth, or you can tell the person about what it tastes like. If it's good, if it's bad, ooh. <laughs> one thing you or someone else can taste.
And if you do have to go get something, you can pause me and then play me when you're back. <laughs> but once we're done, that is all five senses done. So we got recap. We had five things you can see, four things you can touch, three things you can hear, two things you can smell, and one thing you can taste. And it's a really good way to connect with our body or just to make us feel a bit more in the moment or just a little bit of fun. Yeah, especially if you had to go around the house and look for things or really look and take in your environment and what's around you. And it might have been fun from a sensory aspect, so you could, it's been quite nice to give yourself a bit of a hand massage or give someone else a bit of a hand massage and have that connection. So feel free to repeat this at any time that you maybe want a bit of fun or will need to feel a little bit more grounded and calm. Thanks everyone and I'll speak to you soon. Bye!